Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to quite possibly the most interesting video uh, about Pokemon I've ever uploaded so far. This might be one of the biggest, uh, most anticipated battles of all time. Um, that still hasn't happened. If you enjoy it, drop a like, be sure to subscribe. And we're here to discuss Red versus Ash. Of course, if you do have any thoughts and opinions, let me know in the comment section what you think. So, of course, starting with Ash, uh, that way, yeah. So, Ash, of course, is the main protagonist in the TV series that literally just finished uh, a couple of weeks ago, believe it or not, nearly over 20 years, uh, as far as I know. Nearly 20 years, we've been following Ash Ketchum's uh, story all the way from Gen 1, uh, Pallet Town, of course, being partnered by Pikachu and many, many other Pokemon he has grown a big fan base, and I'm sure uh, a lot of people, you know, really enjoyed his time on the on the big screen. So Ash is very strong in his own right. Um, of course, as the journey goes on even further, his teams get completely different uh, every time. Um, but he always keeps Pikachu, which is very very uh, awesome to see. You know, it's his first ever Pokemon. I totally respect it and all of that. But you know. Going through each of his different teams, he, he definitely had some, you know, great ones. He had Greninja from the Black and White series. He had Charizard. He had, obviously, Pikachu. You know, he, he just had so many different Pokemon that really made a difference to his teams. And, you know, even in the movies, uh, you can see his team and him going really, really strong uh, against even some of the legendary Pokemon, which is actually kind of crazy. Um, to be honest, though, is he strong as a trainer as a whole? Um, don't get me wrong, he definitely is strong. Like, there is no denying it. He has gone up against some of the hardest people in Pokemon history, but he never went up against the hardest trainer in Pokemon history, which is Pokemon Trainer Red right here. Of course, those who don't know, uh, I don't know if this is true, but please let me know in the comments. Apparently, Red is semi-based off of Ash, which is kind of interesting. Um, as you can see, they both look relatively similar in a couple of ways. Uh, their hat, their hair, slightly their facial, uh, facial expression and structure. Not the clothes, because this is a black and white version of Ash, as far as I believe. But yeah, Pokemon Trainer Red is obviously the original Pokemon Trainer uh from the games now he never actually appeared in the tv show which first of all is an absolute crime i think i think he would have been a fantastic uh reoccurring character in the tv show whilst ash was on the big screen i think he would have done a great job in playing not a rival but someone that ash could look up to and see you know a, another boy another man uh come from pallet town turns into a really strong trainer and I think having that down to the T uh, competitive edge with someone that's from the same place as you, does the same thing, acts the same kind of way, definitely adds to the reason why Ash wants to become a stronger trainer. So yeah, Pokemon Red, uh, Trainer Red obviously is in the original games and they actually did a little something with these two guys at some point a couple of years back. As far as I know, they were supposed to fight. Uh, there's a whole trailer about it online. You can go watch it, etc. on YouTube and wherever else it's available. But it was a bit of a disappointment. Uh, it wasn't actually a battle. It was more of a event slash game uh, contest in Pokemon Masters EX, which is actually a mobile game. Uh yeah, I know. Kind of sucks, right? Uh, the most anticipated Pokemon battle of all time, it kind of happens, but not really in the way we hoped for. Um, I feel like having these two not face each other at least once in the entire 20 plus years of Ash's journey is crazy, to be honest. I think it would have been a fantastic way for Ash to become stronger and to face one of the better trainers that has ever been in Pokemon. Um, I think, you know, ha both having Pikachus, both using Charizard, both using the original 151 Pokemon and, you know, having a journey of their own 
uh, both facing Team Rocket, both becoming a champion at some point in their life. You know, there's just so many comparisons between the two, and people have always asked the same question: Who would win in a one v one? Ash or Red? One of these two, of course, would have to be the winner. One of them would have to be the loser. But it's a question we might not ever actually get to the bottom of. So that's going to be it. Let me know what you think. Pokemon Trainer Red, the OG, the strongest trainer of the games by far, in my opinion at least. That could be a very uh, hot take. Or the plot armor. I'm joking. Uh, Earl Ash, the, obviously the TV show hero that everyone has grown to love over the years. So... They're both very strong. They're both incredible trainers. Regardless, I love them both. Uh, they are fantastic. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what team are you on. Team Red or Team Ash. And I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Peace.